coming up on the DMT 1 to 1 show episode 65 on the 26th of June 2014, an interview with Ben Brannan, president of the company at Venue. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT 1 to 1 show where we cover uh, the best uh, new music tech startups and digital music projects. And uh, this week it's a real pleasure to welcome uh, the uh, co-founder and president of At Venue, uh, Ben Brannan. So hi Ben and thanks for joining me from LA. How's it going? Uh, it's going great, man. Thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure to have you. And so first of all, let's start with the usual. Uh, what's At Venue all about? Sure. Uh, AdVenue is a uh, merch management platform for live events. Uh, So we've built tools that take care of all the inventory, the sales, the reporting, the logistics, the shipping, everything in and around effectively managing your merch on the road while you're on tour. Right. And so uh, you have quite an interesting background. So I just wanted to ask you about that. So uh, how did you come to uh, start AdVenue and what was your background before that? Sure, sure. So, uh, you know, failed musician from Seattle, right? So uh, uh, growing up in the 90s in Seattle, you had to have a band and uh, came down to L.A. uh, to pursue a career in music. And so my my background is not tech, it's music. And uh, landed as an A&R dude at BMG Publishing. Um, Started working with a handful of different bands. From there, I started a management company, a little independent record label, and really wanted to learn as much as I could. So uh, I decided to hop in the van and trailer and start tour managing and selling merch. And right. it's great, great experience. You know, got to, got to hit the road and, and travel the world on it. Um, and uh, and from there, that's really where some of the ideas of that venue started to percolate. You know, we we I, I worked with a lot of independent artists, and uh, merchandise was our, our our bread and butter. You know, that's sure. what's what we survived survived on. So. Um, so that was really kind of my background and, and the, the start of some of these ideas around that venue. Yeah, yeah, sure. And so, uh, and so, uh, I before I guess before we delve into the t- technical sides or you know talk talk more about the app, I wanted to sort of do a bit of a run through of uh, what at venue can do for uh, artists or, or managers or you know tour managers uh, sure. uh, for people that are listening to the show. So uh, let's say that I am Andrea Lunelli, the artist or the artist manager, and I am planning a thirty date uh, tour of the U.S. So when do you guys come in, and uh, how does that? But, you know, start in the process work. Sure. So, uh, one, it's a very simple sign up on the website. You click sign up, it's uh, three pages, and you're ready to go. Um, uh, sometimes we'll get calls from folks uh, that say, you know, I have two weeks before my tour starts or I'm on tour. Right. <laughs> so, so we are, <laughs> really? so we are, a, we're able to flip the switch immediately and get you up nice. and running. It's not a problem for us. Um, but there's really two steps. You know, the way that at venue is set up from an artist and artist management side is um, a web and mobile app. And so the web app is really where you're going to set up your account. Uh, so you add in your 30 dates uh, and then the inventory you're going out on the road with. So your apparel items, accessories, and the music that you have in your trailer. Right. Uh, once those two things are set up, all that data syncs up to the mobile app. And so the merch rep, the guy that's out there on the road or the artist that's managing his own merchandise, will use the mobile app every day to manage what he's bringing into the venue, everything that he's sold, uh, the, f- the final financial settlements for the night, He hits done and all that data syncs back up to uh, his account. And then everybody on that team gets a real-time report of what was sold, what wasn't sold, what, how much money did we make, how much cash did we have, how much did we collect in credit cards. So there's really a full back-end accounting and inventory management system. Uh, So it's really user-friendly on both sides where the guy on the road can do everything in a mobile app. Yeah. We take care of that and then the the team behind that artist gets all the transparent and real-time information they need to effectively manage that merchandise business. And and the cool thing about it is that it also I guess at the end of the tour you also it's just uh, it takes a swipe to just get the entire financials of the tour on the merch front you don't have to do too too, too much hard math. That, that's, that's exactly right. And so business managers love that side of it, you know, where, where you know, throughout the tour, you know, so that's kind of setting up the tour and, and how, how the app is used during the tour. Um, uh, throughout the tour, now that we have this data out of Excel and, and on an application, uh, you, we're able to give you a inventory forecast reports, you know, so we see, hey, you're going to run out of this T-shirt in five shows, it's time to reorder. Uh, or this shirt isn't selling as well as you may have thought, and you're going to come back with excess, so maybe drop the price and blow those things out. The right. whole goal is to maximize revenue uh, for that that finite amount of time that you're out there on the road selling merchandise, because that's that is that is your time to make make that money. Um, and so so once we have all that data, as you mentioned at the end of the tour, I can just go into a report section and say I want to see my tour summary report. 
every single show, what was our gross, what are our taxes, what are our credit card fees, you know, what are our cost of goods. So I know in real time what my gross was, but then also my net profit. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys forget that they have to pay for this merchandise. <laughs> you know, they, they come back with a wad of cash and it's like, yeah. sweet, let's break it up. You know, and it's like, well, there's, there were some expenses that, that created that wad of cash. Uh, yeah. so, uh, so we make sure that all of that data is transparent and everyone knows what's going on. Sure. And so talking about uh, the merch providers uh, uh, side of things, so how uh, is that part evolving in the States and all the other, other panel I mentioned in the prep uh, about South by Southwest, uh, uh, people were talking about the fact that it's still a fairly uh, manual process of researching the suppliers. You might want to have two, three, four different suppliers in different corners of the US uh, uh, mm -hmm. where you can pick up the merchandise instead of having it shipped off to one place and then taking it around with you in right. huge quantities. So how do you see that? Can, can that process be streamlined? line somehow through ad venue by knowing sort of what kind of inventory that you have and what you need what you might need to order extra of yeah absolutely great question you know it is it is an incredibly manual and uh, laborious process the logistics around merch and so when we set out you know our, our first you know user really had to be the merch rep the guy that's out there on the road managing merchandise it was me it was the guy that's literally behind that table hawking cotton and uh and if, if this app didn't work for him then it couldn't work for anybody else so we focused on him and then once that worked we start to layer on all the different logistics that support his efforts on the road uh and so we built into the platform as we wor started working with more and more suppliers and merch companies uh advanced inventory needs so i can have my warehouse inventory i can create shipments i can yeah. create purchase orders i can i can see in this global view what was spread out in series and series of excel spreadsheets exactly everything the totality of my merchandise existence right uh and then We've, we've recently partnered with um, a handful of the different merch companies we work very closely with and have opened up an API to them, too. So, again, bridging that gap between data from the road and the guys that supply the merchandise on the road. Yeah. So once I hit settle, all of my inventories are automatically updated. There's an API feed into the supplier, and they can see in real time what to produce, where, and when to ship it out as well. And all that stuff works within. So... So, yes, there are absolutely ways to streamline, and we continue to look for those partners because we're not suppliers. We yeah, don't manufacture course, yeah. the merchandise. Yeah, we don't manage many. That's not my job. <laughs> you know, uh, our job is to get as, as accurate and real time data from the road to those guys so that that band doesn't run out of t shirts and, and can make as much money as they can. It's also a good thing because it means that you don't antagonize the suppliers of merchandise by being competitive. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I, absolutely. I, I, I've had to answer that question many times when we first yeah. started it out like, like you guys are not going to produce t-shirts right a absolutely that's, not. that's fine that's, then. that's not our business <laughs> <laughs> that's great and so, the pros. <laughs> and so uh, you guys have, have been really successful i mean uh, incredibly successful considering that you've only been around for uh, literally a year and a half uh, including the uh, a lengthy uh, private beta and uh, uh, selling in excess of 50 million dollars worth of merchandise uh, through the app and uh, uh, with hundreds of artists on board so how did that come about how did you manage to sort of uh, 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 scale it this quickly, especially in the private beta? Did you have some key partnerships that you managed to forge uh, through your contacts in LA? Or, or I guess a lot of entrepreneurs are going to want to hear this. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Um, it was, uh, you know, 12 years of relationships in the music industry, yeah. you know, and, and, and we were solving a real problem. You know, there's, 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 you know, this is really an unsexy business. You know, our, our app is not sexy, right? It's not consumer facing. It doesn't get you more fans. It's not promotional. It's not marketing. It's not all these buzzwords that a lot of, you know, the other cool apps do. You know, for us, it is very much a, you know, under the hood, fundamental business application. Yeah. And, and so we immediately you know, our, our MVP was really a, a series of PDFs, uh, designs of what the app was going to do. And so I'd go to my friends that were different managers of artists and say, hey, if, if I build this, you know, would, one, would you use it? And two, is it solving a big enough problem where you'd actually pay for it? Right. And, and, and over and over it was, yes, please. Uh, you know, we just finished a tour and at the end we're like, where'd the other $5,000 go? You know, and our guy's honest. It's just uh, we just don't know where it went because it takes so long to catch up with the reporting and everything else. So, so we um, we built that out, and then as I mentioned, we focused intently on the primary user, which was the guy out there on the road. Yeah, and we super served the heck out of the, out of every single one that used it, and it started with one band. 
that grew to two, grew to three, grew to five. And fortunately for us, because we made sure the product did everything we promised it would do, that merch rep would go on to a next tour and carry the app with him. Yeah. He would show it to that manager, and the manager would say, I don't get this data from any, anything else. I want all five of my bands to use it. All five of those bands have different tour managers. They go on different tours. And so with zero marketing or promotion, we're now up to 1,100 artists on the yeah. platform. You know, and we've settled over 22,000 shows, almost 23. And that number is now up to $85 million of merch through the platform. Wow. Uh, so, so it was making sure that at the beginning, we didn't try to grow too fast. I mean, yeah. we had one customer, you know, and just make sure that the product did everything it needs to do for that user. Uh, especially with something like merchandise, there are so many nuances, and not to get into the weeds, but when it comes to final settlement between the artist and the venue, you know, it, it's not just tapping a screen saying, this is how many I sold. It's tax calculations, credit card receipts, adjusted gross calculations, venue cut, artist cut. And there's, there's a lot of things that have to work. And if one of those things are, is off, you know, I'm out of a job. <laughs> you know? So, so, so that's, how, that's how we grew. And it was really just making sure the product did what we promised it would do. Yeah, sure. And so uh, on, the, on the money side of things, uh, uh, I wanted to ask you, of course, for the benefit of the, li uh, benefit of the listeners, uh, uh, what is your model? Uh, do you charge for use on a sc scaling model? Or do you take a commission? Or how does it work? It's very simple. Uh, uh, it's, a, a, it's a flat monthly fee per artist per touring month. Right. That's it. And so based on, so we don't take any commission. There's no, there's no percentage off the top. Uh, there's a couple of different plans uh, depending on what your needs are. Sure. Um, you know, so it's $10, $50, or $90. And uh, a very nominal fee for all the, the, the tools that, that you get for that. And so, and we base it on, like, as I mentioned, we base it on touring months. So, you know, going back to my tour management days, everything, all expenses are based around a tour. Uh, and so we knew that if we were going to um, make this thing work, we needed to have a fair pricing model. Pay for it when you use it. So if you're on that venue and you tour for two months, uh, you give us a hundred bucks. Uh, if you're off for the next three months, there's absolutely no fee. Uh, but you still have full access to the data, the, the reporting, preparation for the next tour. Uh, so the billing cycle is first data tour to, to uh, whenever that last day is. Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, looking at talking uh, about money still, uh, you raised the first uh, seed round in February, which is a 1.1 million report, uh, as reported anyway. And uh, so that, that, that must have been a, a pretty big milestone for you guys, but, but also one that uh, given you know, the stats that you had, maybe wasn't as hard as it would have been for other companies that have zero <laughs> revenues coming in. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's always a process. I'm sure it was still hard. I'm sure it was still hard. It, 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 it's certainly a process. And, you know, um, yes, we, we just closed that round, and which was, which was terrific because, you know, but prior to this, I, I have incredible co-founders in this company. You know, I, I was introduced to uh, Derek, my co-founder, um, who introduced me to James, our CTO, uh, and these guys have serial tech backgrounds. You know, I, I couldn't, this was an idea in my head, you know, and some pretty PDFs until I met those guys. And, you know, through their experiences of starting uh, successful tech companies in the past, um, they were able to, to guide that process, you know. And so I was fortunate to, to uh, uh, have this team around uh, this product that can execute. Yeah. Just, execute. Uh, so, so, and, and so one of the goals that we set out when we want to build this company, the three of us self-financed it, you know, we, we sweat equity, draw, you know, focused intently on this, make sure that we prove a couple of things. One, we're solving a problem. Uh, and two, that people are willing to pay for it. Uh, and once we got through some of those critical milestones and got some some uh, larger artists on the platform, uh, some, some enterprise clients on merch companies, and start to prove and validate what, what we're creating. Uh, then we decided, all right, let's flip that switch, <laughs> go raise a little bit more dough so we can put some more uh, juice in the tank. And, and, and it primarily went to more engineers so that we can, you know, the, the deeper we get, the more problems we discover that we want to, we want to solve. So it, 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 was, it was terrific. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. And finally, you just announced a partnership with Square, uh, which is, right. uh, uh, I guess, uh, US only, I would imagine. Uh, you guys are US only right now. Is that correct? Uh, no, actually, we're, we're right, international. Cool. So, yeah, yeah. So, we have bands, you know, all over uh, using it. And in fact, that was one of the things, you know, we, we focused on the US, and then a band says, okay, we're going to go and tour Europe now. 
you're not going to make me go back to my Excel spreadsheet, are you? <laughs> you know. So so we said, all right, let's uh, let's go build that out. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's what we did. That's great. But the, the Square Partnership I was mentioning. So uh, you uh, just announced that. And so what does that consist of in terms of synergy, and how how does that help? Yeah, it's it, it's we're really excited about this partnership. You know, one of the as you're well aware, a ton of bands out there are are using Square to to manage yeah. uh, all the credit card processing at the table, uh, and we have some very interesting data and and analytics behind you know bands that do or don't use uh, credit card processing and what it does to your revenue and your dollars per head. How many dollars am I making per attendee of this concert? And hands down, if if you're using credit cards, you're making more money. I mean, it sounds obvious, but you know we can see what that increase is. So. So, uh, you know, it was a question brought to us, too, by our users saying, hey, is there any way you guys can integrate Square into at venue? And we're like, that's, you know, we, we got that feedback over and over again. So obviously, this is going to be uh, of value to our users. Yeah. So, so what the partnership uh, is, uh, there's, there's an opportunity through, through our API and Square's API where, where if I'm using at venue out there on the road, I can link my Square account to it. Right. And at the end of every night, as I mentioned before, there is this uh, detailed settlement of this is how much I should have on hand, how much did I collect in cash, how much did I collect in credit cards. And with this integration, when I get to the settlement process, we automate that entire, uh, that entire process. So we'll, we'll go into your Square account, batch the reports, pull them into at venue. You have all your transactions, your fees for that night. Uh, every single transaction is uh, archived based on that particular show. So it marries transactions with, uh, with uh, in Square to at venues shows. Um, and so there's, uh, there's for, for particular clients as well, the other benefit is there's a, a special rate as well uh, if you're an at venue and new Square user, um, which is just, hey, every penny counts out there on the road. And again, we're constantly looking for ways to maximize your merchandise revenue while you're out there. Yeah. So it really was a win-win, and, and they've been absolutely incredible partners. And, uh, and we have some other fun things planned down the road where, you know, some potential register integration, so real-time inventory pulls and, and, uh, and, and the like. So we're, we're excited about that, about that partnership. That's awesome. And finally, yeah. talk, we're talking about the uh, merch uh, uh, sort of space in the U.S. especially, and uh, uh, we didn't see that many panels. There's probably just the one or two <laughs> panels uh, on uh, merch specifically at South by Southwest. South by Southwest. Uh, but uh, right. in the last maybe like five, six months, I'm starting to see more companies sort of bubble up that are looking at that space as a space that actually has some cash flowing into it because a lot of the other startups are just uh, working the angle of getting as big of an audience as possible and then trying to figure out how the hell to monetize it. So that's <laughs> so a, a, different, a different take on it. Uh, uh, so, uh, how do you see that progress? And have you seen a, a few more players come into the space uh, attracted by the, the opportunities of, of merch as a, a field that actually has money flowing into it? Yeah, there's 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 a lot of stuff that's going on right now, um, and I think I think the reason why I mean, we, you know I speak for ourselves here. You know, it's it's. Who knows what's going to happen with uh, recorded music, digital streaming? You know, there, there's, there's, you know, and, and the revenue that is derived from that, right? And I think that's one of the critical things is that you see, you see in the music industry some fundamental shifts in uh, revenue and revenue generation, and and the revenue that artists depend on and what's keeping the lights on. And while you know, recorded revenue is uh, you know kind of on this 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 downward path and, and not not steep, but it's still you know it's downward path. Uh, live event revenue is skyrocketing, yeah. really. You know, and uh, and and as artists you know get less income from uh, traditional sources in the past, like labels or publishers or what have you, they need to tour more. They need to play more. You know, so, something has to keep the the business afloat. And so I think seeing that that revenue shift. Um, uh, and the changes within the industry as a whole, there is an opportunity. Uh, and the merchandise business is very fragmented. You know, there's, and, and, and there are a lot of, now there's some, you know, I don't want to blanket this, there are some that are doing some incredibly uh, advanced forward thinking uh, 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 projects and ideas and everything else, but largely it still is very, antiquated i mean it's manual it's a t-shirt you can't download a t-shirt you know what i mean like like it, it's a t somebody has to manufacture it somebody yeah. has to pack it somebody has to ship it somebody has to sell it somebody has to you know there, there's so many moving pieces it, it is really an inventory logistics uh problem and so so because of that there's been and it's a very nuanced way to sell merchandise you know especially in the live space 
Uh, and because of that, we, there hasn't been a point of sale system that works. There aren't hang tags on these things because they're going to rip off in the trailer. You know, there's, you, you get, thank you, good night, boom, and you got 3,000 kids in front of you and you got to turn them out as quick as possible. So you're not going to sit there and scan little codes and do stuff. Like I sold merch. I sat back there. I was like, all right, I got about 30 minutes to turn 2,000 kids out the door and collect as much money as I can before security kicks them out. Yeah. You know, so, so knowing that, how do, how, do we, how do we improve that without slowing the merch seller down? Uh, so, so we certainly have more ideas. We have a, 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 some really exciting stuff we got planned that's going to come out the, um, the gate here in the near future. Um, but looking at the environment as a whole, seeing you know, the importance of its revenue, seeing that there's still you know, methods that are in place. I mean, it's, it's a multi-billion dollar, just live, just live merchandise. It's a multi-billion dollar space that has been managed by Excel for decades, right? Like, you know, so, so there, there's certainly room for, uh, room for improvements and, and some opportunity there. And I think that's why we're seeing some more people hop in. That's awesome. And well, uh, Ben, it was a real pleasure having you on. And uh, uh, again, it's at venue.com. Is that correct? That's it. Perfect. And the Twitter handle is at venue if you want to uh, follow the company as well. And uh, yeah, it, it sounds great. And look forward to seeing what uh, is going to come uh, next from the company. Thanks so much for your time. <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate it. And thanks for listening to the DMT One to One Show. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com and also don't forget to follow our weekly news show where we talk about the latest news in the music tech industry. It comes out every uh, Thursday slash Friday depending on the week. Thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week and until next time. If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com.